more newbie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crop, pan, and zoom using the free and easy Share Factory app on the PS4. So, if you want to make PS4 gaming videos using the Share Factory app, then this channel is for you. And before we go any further, would you mind just subscribing and turning on notifications because I've got lots of Share Factory tips videos on the channel already, and I've got lots more that are planned that will be coming up soon. So, uh, lots to look out for. So, we're talking about crop pan and zoom in on Share Factory. So um, let's get straight into it. So the simplest way to do it, I've just got a few example clips here and uh, this is just a general game um, that I'm playing but let's, uh, the, the reason for using the pan and crop and zoom is to make it anything that you particularly want to focus on a bit more interesting. And so what we could do on this game for example is the easiest method of doing a bit of a zoom in is just pressing the um, cross button, uh, sorry no, just pressing the square button and going to add overlay then go down to camera effects and go across to focus. Okay and what this will do is it will zoom the camera in briefly to focus in on what you want it to focus on. So we're going to click that and then we can choose how long we want it in for um, but uh, you just play about with it to get it how you want it so let's just look at how this will look if on that basic example what we've just done there so it's just about here zoom in shoot there we go okay so that's not bad so what we can do is change the timings of that a little bit and um, get maybe zooming in a little bit more as well so let's just press the square button to go into it and adjust it and we will go into camera duration and you can use the left stick to move the start time of the camera effect and then the right stick to change the end time of the camera effect so i think we could start now we could end it around well we want to end it when he's died and we're about to jump down which is about there and then press conf uh, across to confirm and then we could go across to intensity this is how much it zooms in um, so we want it about where we had it before around this sort of level be fine press cross to confirm circle to come out of it and then we'll just have a look see what that looks like again zoom in Nice, okay, so that's the easiest way. There's not much involved with that other than just playing about. This one is a clip. I'm going to show you the clip first of what it looks like without the zoom. So this is a long distance snipe that I was really pleased of. Um, but you couldn't see, because it was a duo split screen, couldn't see what the distance of the snipe was. So on this clip I've edited it to zoom in on the um, distance of the snipe, which is there. Okay, and it just, again, it gives you an idea of something just focusing on. Now that clip was strangely, I actually hit my shots, so I just wanted to emphasize that um, I hit my shots for once, so um, I just kind of add a bit of a zoom in and actually slowed that one down as well. So we're going to go into the detail of how to do that in a second. So first of all, I just want to say, obviously, we are zooming in and panning, so we are cropping the video. And the more you zoom in, the more quality will be lost of the video. And thirdly, I would advise you to make a clone of the clip before you start editing it, so that if it goes wrong or if you make a mistake, you can just delete it and use the clone clip to start again. OK, so on this video, we are just going into split clip to show uh, to start where we want the edit to go so whereabouts do we want the zoom in to start so we go split clip and then press the cross button go across to confirm and then that will split our clip in where we want it okay so then we just need to decide if we need to split the clip again or if we want to leave it as it is and i think we probably want the zooming in to be only a part of this so we're going to split it again and work out the best place which is probably uh, probably if we just go a bit further probably about here and then we just push the cross buttons uh, go across to confirm press cross again and then that's this section here is where we are going to do the zooming in okay so we just push the cross button go to cross to pan and zoom and then this is where we zoom in so we're using the uh, controller to zoom in and we can go in up to 300% and that's what we're going to do on this one so 
I'm using the controller just to move up and down and pan around the screen and then just push across to confirm that and this will show what that looks like and there you go that's the zoom in now because I want to highlight the um, the distance there um, of the snipe 251 meters I am going to add some text as well to really make that stand out because it's still really small so just go across to add overlay and then obviously you've got all these stickers that you can put in as well um, to be honest I'm probably I might just do a text and maybe an arrow so we we'll put in go down to text choose that and then we can just type in um, what we're going to do so I'm just going to put 251 meters 251 meters and then we press cross to confirm and then we can change the duration but to be honest we're going to move that in a second so we go to transform and move the text to wherever we want it I'm happy with the size of it and I'm just going to put it next to 251 on the snipe details there and then left stick here right stick there to change so that the the text is there for the duration of the pitch, uh, the, the duration of the clip there. Um, and then animations, we can go to add animation and pulse, I think will be good for this. So we just click on that and then we can come out pushing uh, text duration we've already done. That's all the way across the whole clip. And let's have a look. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so add overlay, we're going to go across up to stickers and then all the way down till we get to the arrows and then we can just choose which arrow we want and we're just going to add one of these arrows here on to the screen and then press cross to confirm and then if you look along the bottom we've got all the different buttons to change and transform the arrow to where we want it and change the size so um, we can just use L1 and R1 to change the size and L2 and R2 to rotate it okay so I'm just going to put this here just pointing at 251 just to emphasize that and then again we want that thicker duration to be throughout the whole length of this split clip I press confirm let's see Okay, so that looks absolutely fine to me so we can just pretty much leave it at that I don't want to go over the top with stickers and that um, but this is quite straightforward a nice um, you know you could even miss it if you um, weren't paying too much attention you can put uh, transitions in um, to soften that transition across from one screen to another um, but be aware that because that split clip is really short it's less than a second and the transition is a second um, then it won't let us to do that in that um, exit part so to be honest I'm happy with how this looks as it is now so uh, I would leave it as that as that one so we're going to move on to the next next example and that is the one we showed you before where I actually managed to hit some of my shots so um, I want to change that a little bit so almost to emphasize that I'm actually I am able to actually <laughs> hit my shots for once okay so we're going to do pretty much the same sort of thing we're going to just choose where we want the split clip to start so it's going to be where I'm just about to start shooting at her and then press cross to split the clip and then confirm and then we're going to move across it until we have pretty much killed her and I know in a second I'm about to build or try and build a wall so I want to split the clip before that wall starts so just move back I'm using the d-pad to move it a frame at a time split the clip there and then we um, obviously you're not going to see any difference because we haven't zoomed in yet so we're going to go onto that clip we're going to go across to pan and zoom and then we're going to use the controller again to move across to how much we want to zoom in now this is a bit of a moving clip so we might need to adjust it a little bit to exactly which part we're panning and zooming into so let's see what that looks like yeah that looks okay but I think we can zoom in more than that to give it a bit more of an effect and actually I think we'll go a little bit higher as well to catch a bit more of it yeah so that's showed a bit more so we'll do that um, zooming in a little bit more as well I think so let's go up to yeah that should be fine let's play that okay and then it goes back to normal screen 
So that's that. I also want to slow it down a little bit. So what we can do is go across to um, Time Bender and then we click on that and just go down to half speed. Click on that and then we see what that looks like. And then it goes back to normal. I actually quite like that. So I would pretty much leave that as it is there. And um, there you go. It's just an example of a couple of different ways you can do a pan and zoom. So play about with it and just uh, experiment and see how you get on. Okay, I hope this has been of use to you and uh, if you have found it of any use then please do subscribe, turn on notifications and uh, hit the like button and uh, do comment below if you've got any questions about Share Factory or if you want me to do any other videos. But do check out my other videos on Share Factory as well, I've got lots already on here and lots more to come. Okay, thanks.